Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to announce the new swap for the month of February. I am so super excited to host this month's swap. It's um, a little different and I wanted to do so much more but I just couldn't quite figure out how to do it because I wanted this to be like a secret swap but that means I have to get everybody emails to tell everybody whether they want to get so we're going to do it this way but I will figure out the other thing because I think that's an exciting idea as well anyway aside from that little rambling I am going to write everything out and put it on my website so please check there about 40 percent of people ask me when the swap is due what's your mailing address where do I send the money to or they send the money to the wrong address um, how many do I need to make everything is on the website so please I'm gonna refer you to that site because y'all know I hate typing so it's all gonna be written out as always to participate you have to have crafty videos already uploaded on your channel live in the United States or have a United States postal address and not have flaked in the last swap okay so without further ado I am presenting no not this this is just the house but I am presenting the swappers delight happy bail swap <laughs> so excited all right the premise behind this is I have been binge watching um, happy mail videos because I just love to watch them and I look and I like to look at them to get different ideas on things that I want to create and stuff like that but I'm really addicted to watching um, the ones that has the advent calendar or like countdown to Christmas or Valentine swap that you you know they're numbered and you open up a different package like in the snail mails and things like that oh my gosh I am so in love with watching those so um, that's what this swap is sort of about so um, so yeah that's that's what that's about I'm rambling because I'm trying to explain it all but I know I'm not gonna do a very good job so I'm gonna write it all out and refer you guys to the website so you know how you open up your package and you get happy mail you get snail mail and you open it up especially the countdowns <laughs> cute I love it so your group when you're in your group and you sign up below you're going to be um, sending basically happy mail okay so um, on the website when your group is assigned you'll get assigned a number you know there's going to be six to a group so um, you'll have to create five uh, packages swap packages for your partners and you can create one for yourself if you want so you'll end up with five different happy mails so um, if you don't want to know what's going to be in your happy mail don't watch any videos because one of the requirements are to package up your happy mail with whatever number that corresponds where you are in the group so when I put you in group and you're in group one but you're the fourth person listed you're number four so make sure that you create a tag or something or put a number or I don't care how you do it stamp it that has your number that's assigned to you on it so it can kind of when everybody gets it it looks like it's snail mail or happy mail or countdown to that so um, so you would package up with your corresponding number and then package it up where the recipient can't see it upon first sight so you can use um, what is this tissue paper paper bag glassine bag wrapping paper card stock whatever you want just make sure that when, when you first looking at it you don't really see what it is okay so they can get the option to open up one present a day or open it all up in one day totally up to them so um, you are going to make the happy mail and then you can make anything I will have a list of ideal things um, but you are certainly welcome to go a, you know outside of that a little bit um, if you'd like so handmade items um, so if you haven't seen any snail mail videos you don't know what I'm talking about or any countdown to Christmas or Valentine countdowns check them out I'll try to link some below um, but check them out start watching those so you can get an idea of what this craze is all about if you don't know so some handmade items I, ideas are you can do a set of note cards whatever you do make sure that you're sending something that's fair you don't want to send a note card and a envelope 
send a set for each recipient. So I consider a set of three. Three envelopes, three note cards, you know, embellished really, really good to what you will want to receive. So don't be skimpy, okay? Be fair um, because nothing is worse than you sent a little tiny bag of flat back pearls and then you get a whole bunch back. That's not fair. So, and everybody knows that they'll be looking at you like, mm hmm, that ain't fair. But anyway, so you can, um, some of the items may include like no cards with envelopes, a set. Or um, a couple a set of paper tassels or dangles or charms um, a set of ro rosettes embellishments um, a package of die cuts and ephemera stuff like that um, that those are things that's happy me of course you want to cut out en enough if you're sending if you're going the goodie route I would prefer you not go the goodie route because we want to see your handmade creations but if you do of course you still want to wrap it up normally but your goodie that you send if you're just doing goodies and you um, embellishing it uh, your packaging then your goodie must be the equivalent of five dollars so per person so if you're sending um, like packages of bling I should have had this out so say you're sending some bling right you want to send enough bling no this is not it's not working out very well but you want to send enough bling that would be the equivalent of five bucks so if you're sending goodness grief of mercy so you're sending bling you want to package up you know some bling for your recipient really pretty in your packaging and you want to send a nice a nice amount just as an example I don't know why I said that if you're doing lace you want to wrap it around that spool a couple times you know so if that's what you're doing that's what you're doing because people do get goodies in happy mail so otherwise create your handmade item I know most of you send goodies anyway this is beginning to be a long video let's wrap this up go to the website for more information um, but yeah so you would need to make each participant a happy mail all the same or similar and the theme is two themes you can do um, shabby or you can do clean and simple so make sure when you're signing up below tell me what group you want to be in so you want to be in the shabby group or the clean and simple group all right so let me get on with the get on so I have numbered all of mine have it in this little pizza box I have some little fun stuff see how cute cute that is so this one I wrapped up in tissue paper I have a doily on all of them and then I just used a cute little tag and then I actually hand wrote the number one on here so be creative stamp use your machine use your die cuts I don't I don't you know be creative so that's number one and an example of something that you could send oh here this is the shabby box so if I'm on the shabby team this is what I would have sent so um, clothes pins, alter clothes pins. These are heavily embellished. They're wrapped up really cute and they have lace and flowers and um, stickles and stuff on here. So this would be idea. It's already prepackaged. So this would be a cute idea to send if you're getting Happy Mail, an example. All right. So number two, this is number two. I wrap this one up in gold tissue paper with some lace. Okay. So. I'm trying to save it because I really only wrapped it up just to give you guys an idea. So this is this one. I made a cute, this is heavily embellished as well. It's a slice, a wood slice. And it has flowers on it. it it's just loaded. Lace, trim, beads, flowers, stars, stickles. It's a lot of stuff on here. But that's super cute. Okay. Packaged up really, really cute. That's an idea. All right, so for number three, look how cute that is. I just used some twine. I used one of these little tags from the Target Dollar Spot. Okay, and then I wrapped it up in this lace doily. And then this one is wrapped in a um, glassine bag. I'm just going to cut this out from the bottom. Let's see what's in here. This has, oh, this is cute. I didn't make this. This is, um made from one of the other swaps but this is on a mason jar tag chipboard and then there's two nice size decorated heavily shabby I love it embellishments on here two two by two embellishments so two two inch embellishments on here super cute so that's like day three and then your number four this has 
big huge puffy lace some doily this is the number four on here and this is a this is a pennant so this was a swap this is not mine either this was a swap I'll put the link below for the for the requirements for that swap if you want to do a pennant but look how many layers is on here this is just heavily this was made by uh, my little sweet peas heavily embellished she has like four layers of cardstock lots of flowers trim lace she shabbied it all up super cute this would be a cute idea to give you can either use it as a pennant or you can put something on the back and display it in your craft room really cute happy mail idea and then number five this is wrapped in um, it has some twine and of course another little tag to label it number five this is a paper bag that I just covered because you don't I don't want the recipient to see it I want them to open up be surprised this is a charm look how many details are in this charm there's a scroll a crown beads pearls all this kind of stuff so this can count as one it's just how detailed it is you don't want to send a charm with one little bead you guys know be fair I know that I don't have to say that because I know that you will do right so those are just some ideas you see how that cute that was when it was all packaged up but in the end when you get done and you got your happy mail all cleared up look at all the items that was in there so you don't know what you're gonna get so try not to watch the videos but if you do yeah you could be spoiled and sp <laughs> but yeah check out the uh, link in the description box to some of the happy mail or advent things that I've been watching the snail mail I'll put some of those down below the link to the website will be down below this swap will be down below in case you're interested in making this pennant so you can get the information on it but uh yeah so hopefully you guys got this this is a long swap intro video but hopefully hoping hopingly hopefully you watched it to the end and you will read and if you have any questions after that let me know sign up below the swap is due postmark february 25th and the postage is seven dollars and 25 cents so if you're a frequent swapper this postage has changed effective 2018 so um, that's it leave a comment whether you want to be in shabby or clean and simple all right and then check the rules check the rules check the rules I will see you guys next time I'm so excited for the swap like super hype